So we had a wonderful time sailing 1,500 miles from Trinidad to New York. Uh, we left St. Thomas and sailed direct non-stop to New York. And at New York, I got a very good welcome. I was on American television in the program called To Tell the Truth. And I was on with Sir Edmund Hillary, who just climbed Everest. And in the room beforehand, he said to me, what are you doing on this program? I had to pretend to be Edmund Hillary. I said, I need the money. I want to buy a radio so I can get the weather forecast. And he fudged his answers. So I got the prize money to get my uh, radio <laughs> thing. Now, people were guessing who, who was it. They now, had in to those guess. days, people didn't see people's faces all the and, time um, quite so much. And we became, you know, we became good friends. And, and you, of course, had your mountaineering background. I had my mountaineering background. So you could so pretend to be Hillary friends. quite nicely. <laughs> and then we set out from New York. I've forgotten the dates at the moment. And that was, I think, August 59. August. Yeah, and it was a hard voyage. There was a high over Europe which gave us easterly winds. We had somewhere um, off the Grand Bank, you go from New York, you go in a, a circle like that, a rum line. And there was an ex tropical cyclone came from the Canadian wheat fields. We heard it on the weather forecast. And we was hit by hurricane force winds with all sail up. And the boat rode it. I'm not saying we were not frightened, but the boat rode it. Like, you know, it, everything worked like in, as in a dream. Due to the constant re sowing sails and the easterly winds, we took seven weeks across the North Atlantic. So we, we were driven this way by storms. The sails would drip, we'd have to re stitch them up again. I think you had ages of easterlies to tread. Easterlies, yeah, yeah, for weeks. But. I, w I did achieve this oneness with the ocean that Bernard Matisse and I had discussed. So eventually, when we were not in sight of Ireland, I could smell the land uh, 20 miles off. I could smell the trees. I didn't feel, I've got to get off this ship. You know, it was a, a kind of sadness coming over. So that was it. We made the first North Atlantic crossing by an emulsion hole.